still a moment, better know I'm still on it lately I've yeah, been crazy wet. flowing cause my money daily growing uh-huh. Yeah, I've been flowing crazy cause my money growing daily uh-huh. Even though I'm in a struggle with niggas trying yeah, to play me We rap in the moment Captionviews.net, like I say all the time, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Just Google me, Captionviews, shout out to my cameraman, Captionviews, 614, Mike Mangoon, Instagram. You feel me? Shout out to DJ Fake, Mission, um, Ohio. We got New Orleans, it's New Orleans in the city right now, so you know how we do those at the uh, Orson and New State Sales. You feel me? So, man, look, man, we got two C's in it, so you know I'm fucking with it. JC Cash, Cap City. Man, views, man, that's the thing we're doing, man. So I just want to fuck the camera on, man. I'm here with my niggas, man. Yo, yo. Real niggas connected from city to city. Y'all already know, man. I tweet it all the time. I love Columbus. I love Ohio. Yeah. Shout out to my niggas, Fly Union, coming out, man. My yeah. nigga Bankroll got on stage, do this thing. FAT, y'all know that's my big brother. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, man, you know, beautiful thing, man. Appreciate everybody who came out to Scully's. Appreciate everybody who was tweeting saying they was going to come out. You know what it is, man. It's not the first time. It's ain't the last time. You already know what it is, man. So we out here, man. Beautiful things, man. Like I said, two cities. We always gonna connect, man. Come check it out. So, um, the name Chasing Cash is that like basically? It's spelled different. Clearly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it self-explanatory? Like, are you Chasing Cash? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I got the name just pretty much on some man. I wanted, I wanted something that everyone could embody, you know. Nah, I don't make music solely for myself, even though it's from my perspective. I feel like there, whatever it is, there's a certain amount of people who can relate to my perspective, and you know, they might be chasing cash in their own way, you know. Um, I like to compare my shit to James Bond. I ain't a superhero, but you know how the character switch, but it's still the same motive. You know, it's the same thing. He came in to see, coming to keep everything established and keep all the principles there. So that's what I want to do for the music, shit, man. I want to be like the James Bond and shit. You know, whoever played James. James Bond gonna have that suit on, they gonna be classy, they gonna have a business, but at the same time they come to have a business all the time, my nigga. So that's what you know, I get the name from. It's being about business, you know. You really should chase much, but if you don't chase anything, man, chase this cash, my nigga, instead of these hoes, my nigga, and anything else. That's so on. Did a little read on your uh, you started more so producing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got um so I know I see stuff like that, Flow Rider, yeah, 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 etc. So um how did you what was your first big break, what'd you say? You know what I'm saying? Oh man, um and music drop the world, honestly, man. That was the first thing when me and Hitboy got like big publicity when we did it. But because we was testing the record, you know, with Lil Wayne and Eminem. And then after that, man, it pretty much was the sky after that, man. Definitely shout out to Polo the Don for putting us on always, but um, the Drop the World thing was it, man, and it kind of got everybody interested in us from everything, from a surf club perspective, you know, it kind of pushed the whole surf club envelope to where it allowed me to branch off and do my solo thing as an artist and Hitboy right. to do his solo thing as an artist. And then I still allow us to be producers together, you know, because we got a bunch of shit coming along. And, you know, I just love how my career started, man. I'm, feeling, I'm, sorry, I'm starting to finally see and get the clarity of why it means to music, you know, and I just want to continue to polish it up, you know. I, I feel like people know with the Grammy nomination and the uh, Grammy win working with Drake and shit, people know, like me and Hitboy know what we're doing on this production shit. And we just willing to prove that we're willing to take the grassroots approach on the rap side too, you know. I ain't really looking for no shortcut just on my beat side, but just because my name is associated with big dogs already on the beat side. Like, I want to rap my way up, my nigga. So, would you, um, your focus, would you say more so on the production side or the rap side? Just the music side, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just the music. Because even, you know, if you've seen a complex article where they said I was a tastemaker, number one, like tastemaker, so I could be an AR and this and that and a third. So, you know, I'm here for the consultant. I'm here just to contribute and give culture to the game. You know, I feel like it's my responsibility now, close to 10 years in. So, it's like I have knowledge to give back. It's not it's, it's, as much as I'm being taken, I have to give it back. You know, people call me a hit boy, they're favorite producers now. So, you know, it's like a far stretch. I remember when I was calling Pharrell and some of them my favorite, and you see how they kind of decline, but still doing AR. Only thing you know, and they, right. and they regard so you know, just progress and man, and evolving. That's the only thing I'm trying to do, you know, at the same time, get myself room to room, but make sure I'm going, man. I ain't trying to jump the gun on shit. Gotcha. So, for example, like, say for uh, say you're about to, this is making me, you're in the lab, I guess we both that, you know what I'm saying? Do you have to, how do you have to be, you have to be on the drum pod, 
Oh man, I'm, I'm usually high all the time. Yeah, I'm usually high all the time. But uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a solo person, but honestly, as far as like creative, I don't like too many creative people in the room. I like having people around who are contributing to the record. You know, I'm the type of person, I like to schedule a day for me to work with this person and the next day. I'm not a person that really likes too many interchangeable vibes in the studio. I love energies all the time. If you just sit and listen to music and there's multiple opinions in the room, I love to chat, chat music all the time with good people. But as far as creative, I just gotta be in my zone, and especially on the production side, because you know I'm always trying to try something new. As an artist on the rap shit, I could kind of be in a room with everybody, because I feel like that's what rap needs, you know? I feel like rap needs multiple energies, and allow you to come out of yourself and try something new, and new flows, and this and that and the third. That's why I always love Jada Kiss and Styles, people when they got their record together. But on the B side of shit, man, I only feel like the people need to be in there, you know, to the record, you know, like, it's the strings and the guitars and the bass line. I'm a crappy person. I don't really do too many beats for I got like my shit. It's funny you said because I read one of your tweets. It was like, uh, uh, some shit come out. Like, how do you make it a classic? What did you say? You know what I'm talking about? You oh, yeah, how you digest music so fast. Yeah, so man. exactly. Yeah, yeah because I've seen like, a lot of people giving bad opinions and bad reviews on a Daft Punk album and shit like that. And it's like, them dudes OGs in the game really can't comment on their music, man. Right. Niggas got too many hits for people that be sitting here talking about this ain't a classic or it's a classic right away. You, know, you gotta, yeah, after 12 hours. 12 hours, yeah, man. You know, you gotta let shit rock, man and let people formulate the ideas that go with the rest of the album and shit like that. Because back in the day, you used to receive the videos first and got the album. And now you're receiving a lot of music first and then the fans are choosing the songs we like and then we're getting the videos, you know? And that Punk don't gotta follow these rules that these blogs and you know how we intake music from hot and hip hop. Them dudes are veterans. When they drop their music in the respective spaces, it's gonna do its numbers and it's gonna reach the real core following. You know, man, get a shout out in the backyard. You know, man. Get my man Plaza Euros, man. We gotta get money, man. <laughs> so your inspiration is you know, to get you to start doing all this music stuff? Um, man, if I go back and recall it, I could name five motherfuckers, man. Um, number one, Stevie Wonder off the rip. Number two, Michael Jackson. Number three, Prince. Number four, Bobby Brown. And number five, Parliament Funk, George King. That's what I just heard in the house all the time. I could probably name five more, too. Uh, Lisa Stanley's feel, Freddie Jackson, you know, all that type of 90 shit, man, you know, that's what inspired me. That's a low price. This is Elliot, man, because all work for the time. Oh, hey, what's up? Camera, yeah. That's it. All work, multiple. Yeah. Yeah. Put the equipment down and shit. Backs, you know, biggest nigga in the city of Columbus. You know, top is, yeah. I ain't gonna talk no shit, man. FAT, man. Commission. It's, it's me. Like, when you hear FAT, it's him. Like, it's, I'm him. Just know that. Yeah. Hey, the regime, you know, that's my DJ, man. All work, more pay. That's the game. All work, more pay. Fuck with this, man. Buddy. Yeah, my inspiration, Timberland and Neptune. Um, anything that was fire, man. Anything that hit that TV that was popular, that was on video music box. Corn, whether it was corn, whether it was Eminem, whether it was uh, Radiohead, whether it was like, the like, Rage Against the Machine. If it was popular and it was hot, hot at the time, fuck it. Was, you know? And that's just what, that's the, that's the type, what type of shit I'm trying to bring in. You know, I feel like when I watch video music box back in the day, everything about it was aspirational. It wasn't just like stunting, it wasn't just like out now. Everything is braggadocious. They were creative, just period, in all aspects of shit. Like Busta Rhymes, I can honestly say, I mean, because I just remember how lyrical and creative he was in the band. I don't feel like he was afraid to be himself. And not to say that many people, I don't feel like they're afraid to be themselves right now, but I feel like they're afraid to be themselves. Shout out to my man. Let's see, uh, to this point, crazy story. Um, craziest stories. Man, my craziest stories ain't even with me, honestly. Nah, y'all can come through the way. Wait, my camera to walk through the way. I can come through the way. I can come through the way. But yeah, uh, nah, my craziest stories don't even actually involve me. It probably involve this nigga right here. Don't get his face off camera. <laughs> but nah, uh, tour shit, man. You know, wildin'. Picking up mad shorties, man. Doing all kind of crazy shit. But I'm new in the game, man. Not that I'm new, but you know, I'm kind of new in the rap service. So I'm kind of waiting to get my stories, man. Hopefully I can get that bitch on Cap City News, man. And we can get that bitch to 1.1 million really, and get the YouTube. This hop, yeah. 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 So the only way is, like I just said, we're chasing cash. Bang, New Orleans, what's up? Columbus, Ohio. I'm here for y'all. Cap City News, I know. They said the other jacket was that way. I'm going to say this. 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 I'm going to say this.
Yeah. Yeah.